Welcome back. As you get ready to have a great weekend, take pictures of your family and friends having fun this summer weekend. Don't worry. Apple says you just don't understand how good it is that they are spying on your phone. And we shouldn't worry about opening the Pandora's box of big tech, now checking our devices, things they, big tech, in their infinite wisdom, find objectionable. In step one, they say they will only look for images of child sex abuse and then help law enforcement track down child predators and abusers. As we said, step one. Here is Apple's software chief telling us why it's just going to be okay. There's a degree of analysis done on your device as it uploads a photo to the cloud so that the cloud then can do the other half of the algorithm. And if and only if you meet a threshold of something on the order of 30 known uh, child pornographic images matching, only then does Apple know anything about uh, your account uh, and know anything about those images. With us tonight to help us untangle what this means to you, Sharon Bradford Franklin, expert on surveillance and privacy, co-director of the Security and Surveillance Project at the Center for Democracy and Technology. We appreciate you, Sharon, and the uh, work you do as well. Uh, should we feel better based on what uh, Craig Faradegi of Apple just said? So Apple's goals here are important and admirable, and Apple has indeed made a number of policy choices designed to limit the reach of the tools that they are creating and installing on everyone's phone. But no, you should not feel fully comforted because these policy choices can easily give way in the face of demands that Apple expand and repurpose its new tools. So, for example, Apple has uh, decided that with the tool in messages that uh, will notify a parent when there is a sexually explicit message, image sent to or from a, a young child, there's a policy choice they've made that first that young child will receive a warning that if they choose right, but that's, to... That's the thing you can opt in or opt out of, right? The, versus the scanning of every image that just happens because you own an iPhone. Uh, this is a New York Times op-ed. We understand there's a lot of Apple employees who are upset about it. And these are two professors who wrote, uh, even some democracy, democracies criminalize broad categories of hate speech and blasphemy would be able to resist the demands of legitimately elected governments to use this technology to help enforce those laws. It seems as though once you get into the business of looking in people's devices, Governments can tell Apple to look for all sorts of things on people's devices. Yeah, that's a real concern. There, there are two different tools that we're talking about. One is a tool in messages, and the other is when people upload their photos. Um, to yeah, but there was one in messages you can opt in or out of, so we'll leave that for the, to the side. We'll talk about this broad-based surveillance. Sure, there's absolutely a risk. So right now, Apple is limiting the photo scanning to... Um, uh, scanning for hash images of child sexual abuse material. But absolutely, the next thing to come down is going to be government requests to scan for terrorist content. And terrorist content is very contextual and varies government by government. One government's uh, terrorist is another government's freedom fighter. And the context really matters there too. So absolutely. Um, so so what's this? So in, in other words, Apple is installing software on our phone that they could very easily tailor to look to all sorts of things. They could tailor it to help the Chinese crack down on dissidents more than they already do. They could tailor it. Uh, you say terrorists. It was interesting. It was five years ago that Apple decided not to help the U.S. government when it came to terrorists. Yes, and the five years ago, the Apple versus FBI case, Apple argued that they were unable to help the government. They would have to build an entire new operating system. And now with these tools that they are going to be installing on everyone's phone, they are building the first step in that technical infrastructure mm -hmm. that will make it that much harder for them to tell the next government request they can't help them. Yeah, or if the government all of a sudden starts requesting uh, to know when people are speeding so they can just send you speeding tickets. Uh, based on the data from your phone. Sharon, I wish I felt better after talking to you. I don't, but we still appreciate you being here. Well, thank you for having me. Thanks. Good to talk to you.